Hello and welcome back everybody, DL here, and today I'll be going over the Mana Spirals and their meta-ness for Marty and for Vanessa. So, so before we say anything, what about Incognito Nefari? I'm gonna wait on her a little bit because she was, because she was put in recently. I feel like they're going to change her, okay? I feel like they're going to change her. And she might increase further. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer on that, alright? So so please be patient on that one. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys find this helpful in whether or not to begin to invest in Marty and Vin uh, Vanessa. Excuse my English. Feel free to use... Feel free to subscribe for more content and feel free to join the Discord server down below as well to stay up to date with 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 uh, my videos and just have a good time in general. So, let us begin. So, first of all, they're down here. 32Ks. That's not that bad. Uh, they're Zanya. They're a little above Zanya, in which Zanya is still very good regardless. Just for our point of reference, so so they are good. They did get a good buff, and and well, honestly, uh, burn Punisher, Resign Rendition over Axe Print because this gives more skill damage. Uh, Marth Blade Wand, that's pretty obvious. Then Clemen for for more poison stuff. So Vanessa, um, what makes her like do really really good now is. Uh, is really in her is really in her Scarlet Warrior, all right. After she uses her S1, she, she will get this effect, and pretty much at the next four strikes she does, it does even more damage. Then it's also a defense punisher as well. So while uh, if their defense is reduced, it will just do even more damage. Always about that much, right? I've I've seen her uh, been able uh, to hit. 120k crit on high mid garden break. So this is nothing to snuff at. She is good, alright? She is good, but that's pretty much a one-time shot in break. So but but in general, it's still really good, alright? Because she can probably hit for like 50k, I would assume, per four strike. So yeah though, obviously the DPS sim is not built for her uh, four strike, but in general, it's still She's still very, very solid, but as for how meta she is, um, I wouldn't say she's meta because we have Marth, we have Galaxy, and people of they're in the process of trying, of trying out on Fire right now. So, so there's some skewness right there, and also we have Ezleth existing, we have Krom. So yeah, sadly, uh, Vanessa doesn't exactly have a place right now because people are just settling on what we have at the moment so yeah she's good but not meta so now let's move on to marty marty is just a little above of, of vanessa uh what makes him tick is uh, is that first of all he has a burn on his s1 so he can burn kind of a consistently which is always nice and and also whenever and also uh, whenever he uh, he does a shield for for the entire team. He increases his own strength by 15% for 15 seconds, and which which that's always a plus. That's just more general damage. It, it, it's a very safe thing to do, and also the fact that he has skill haste is also nice because he can get his burns up a little more often. And when, but then from here, obviously, he then has um, shining overlord uh, for the sword skill damage. Um, uh, me and my bestie for the uh, burn punisher. Then Yuya is for the crit rate and for him to try and get dragons a little bit uh, more often. That way he can then get that um, uh, ending shapeshift equals the skill prep for more burns, more strength up, in general a little bit better. Then blade and wand is also very safe. Then Patia just for the boop. Then the Ag then obviously Agito tier 2, weapon S3. So yeah, that part is pretty standard. So, as for how meta he is, um, he honestly falls under a very similar issue, if not a worse issue, because because a Yuden exists. He's a hundred percent free, and he requires less investment, and he's better. 
He's just better, and everyone's guaranteed to have him because you start with this. You start with him. And also, Marth and Krom are so far above him, and Marth especially. Marth is pretty much like a must-have person. It is ridiculous because he is just so nuts for fire. Marth is just too good. So sadly, Marty will be more of a meme clear for swords, but but he's not bad by, by any means. He's definitely not bad. He's just a little more generic in in what he does. Nothing too uh, unique. Pretty pretty basic kit, but. But he is a solid option. So, yeah. Not meta, but but not bad either. He's definitely not bad. So, that's a pretty short video, I would say. At least I hope it's short. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know uh, the time of it right now. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, found this helpful. And once again, Incognito uh, Nefari. I will get to her. I'm just waiting a little bit longer to make sure that, that this is all nice, nice and up uh, to date. So be patient on that, all right? Please be patient. And I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully tomorrow, if not day after. So I'll see you then.